Sai here. For Star Wars Day, I thought that I would make an Ewok, since we have our own little Ewok here at home. So I took this picture of this Ewok and I made it a little bit larger and I couldn't fit, I couldn't fit it on one page for some reason. And then I cut out all the different pieces for the colors. I'm using this walnut and some mahogany and some mystery wood. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I thought for his lighter brown fur. So I'm gonna get started on that. There are a few pieces I'm gonna be able to cut with my bandsaw and the rest of them I'm gonna to have to cut with a scroll saw. The spear. Now for my scroll saw parts. I got a lot of that rough sanding done, but I think I'd like to go in now and do some finer sanding. Got a dowel, rounded it at the end for the eyes. I think I'm gonna paint them. The lips were so small, I tried holding them with these pliers. It worked. Cool. Didn't think it would, but looks like it might have. That looks kind of weird, but I think it'll look better once I have it in proportion, maybe. Because right now he's like a Mick Jagger Ewok. Well, that's a little bit better. I guess Ewoks are just kind of that way. I found some cord and I cut a little piece and I put some in there to be like his, whatever that is up there on his head. I grabbed some hair ties and some clamps to see if any of these would work. And I think this one is gonna work. So I made a little space there for it to sit. It'll be like his rope on his spear. There. Well, the eyeballs have been drying and I think they're ready to get cut down to size. So let's see. See how it looks. See how it looks. Where's my pencil? There it is. These are not the pencils I was looking for. Ah, Ewok face. Cool. As I'm getting close to finishing up this project, I thought I'd try to get into character a little bit. And since I've never fought in outer space, intergalactic, and met with alien life forms and all that stuff, I thought that I would try the hairstyle. So I took this piece of backerboard and I stained it with a cherry. I was looking at how this might look on here, and it might be a little bit difficult to see, but these Ewoks were in like forests and hidden and stuff, right? So 
So I am Googling Ewok habitat and that's what I put in and this is what I found. So yeah, they're foresty type creatures. So that might work fine. I hope. We shall see. I got all the pieces, put on the board, and then adjusted it to how I wanted him to be standing. Before I start gluing on, I am going to paint behind the face because on the picture it looks shadowy. So I'm just going to paint it. I thought I would just touch up the eyes too. All right, I'm gonna let that dry just for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna start gluing. Mick the Ewok. It's ready to be sprayed. I put a little covering of tin foil over the top of his his head thing. about dry. I have to put the rope on and I, it, I broke it. So that's a bummer. So I have to figure out how to put the rope on and then I'd like to actually put some real feathers on there and then it'll be all done. So I tied on the rope and then I just snipped off the edges with the scissors. Had another little celebration and then I glued on those feathers. Okay, waiting for that to dry now. Mick the Ewok is all done. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and may the fourth be with you.